So this is a higher, more advanced kind of concept thing. We've talked about how to fly the discus right, and that's one of the things, in my opinion, why the discus is much more difficult than some of the other throwing events, because you can have an absolutely perfect throw, be hitting everything great, turn your thumb up to here and you're gonna lose 25 feet on a throw. So one of the things we're gonna do is we'll probably have here in a second, we're gonna have James take a couple throws and he flies the discus pretty well, but we're also looking at a couple of things on where we're squaring up and how we have that thumb and angle of release. The angle of release is super critical. So for a lot of you young throwers and coaches, when you see that discus and you kind of can see the circle aspect of you know the discus instead of it looking like a line, you know you're leaving a lot of results on the table and that's something you absolutely need to focus on. So one of the questions was, how much do we focus on that? More advanced guy, it's a subtle change. Younger throwers, we do in our club. We point out assistant coach James is also helping our young guys feel that out. So what we're going to do is have James take a couple throws and you'll kind of pay attention to where he's seeing that angle of release. And we'll just start out with some simple stand throws and we'll kind of move through his progression and then we'll get some feedback from James to see how much he likes everything he's been doing here. Okay, so here we go. So again, you're gonna notice one of the things is we're trying to do, we're trying to get him to make sure he's extending his radius and keeping that thumb here, which is gonna also help him be able to apply more velocity to the finger, right, or to the edge of the discus, and he's gonna create more spin on the discus. So that's why when you turn the thumb up, the discus isn't coming off the edge of that finger real well, and that's gonna make a big difference. So how you hold it is super important, and this is one of the things we're looking for in his throw. Okay, good, so you guys can see that one flew pretty well. And the one thing we're working on is the shoulders turning a little prematurely. We want him to turn further out here. So by the time the discus release, his body's more at this point than this point. And that little change, again, is gonna be super critical. And so what you would see with a younger thrower, they're typically gonna wind up pulling that around. So, simple tip today. Basically, you're gonna be working on how to fly that angle. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. So what's the, what's the future of Hammer from that, Denny? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very uh, 